In the past, only countries could use UAVs to take pictures of a certain uh, strategic uh, locations. Today, everyone, including terror organization, can get this image very easily by using just the Google Earth and the internet. <clears throat> In the past, we used to look for decisive. Now, in those days, it's from decisive to attrition. For this, this reason, we need to be patient <clears throat> and to uh, deal and to know how to deal with this campaign. The next uh, challenges, of course, is the uh, technologic developments that uh, any uh, terror organization can use very easily, can buy very easily in the internet. For example, night vision, thermovision, all this equipment you can buy uh, <coughs> just in the internet. The next point, or the next challenge, the rare is the new front. The terror organization understand our weaknesses in the homeland security field and they use it. The next challenges, the difficult in singling out and targeting the enemy. The enemy is not a clear entity. <clears throat> and the last one is violate, violating a country's sovereignty by a indir indirect means such as uh, SCAD missiles, Fajr rockets, etc. Because of these new challenges, the importance of the special forces has become essential. <clears throat> if I try um, to define special forces, they are base by <clears throat> basically small unit small size unit, uh, if you compare them to the regular army <clears throat> uh, or military army, uh, operating to achieve highly strategic targets during peace time and the war. <clears throat> As I, <clears throat> as I presented uh, here, the armored uh, forces operate on uh, <clears throat> three main circles. The first one is the tactical circle, the yellow one, as you see. The second one is the green one, is the systematic uh, circle, what we call systematic uh, effect. And the third one is the strategic uh, circle. The X uh, vertical line is based on the present and secure, secret uh, uh, logic, as you see. And the Y a vertical line is based on the ordinary uh, function and special function. According to our understanding, the ordinary forces work mainly in the tactical uh, tactical circle, and they have uh, 
tactical effect. <clears throat> the secret uh, forces work mainly on the third uh, circle that they uh, call the strategic uh, circle and uh, they have the strategic uh, effect and the special forces can work from the yellow circle, from the tactical circle, usually in a time world, to uh, the systematic uh, circle and even in the uh, strategic circle. For this reason, they need to cooperate with uh, other agency. Uh, for example, in uh, Israel, it's the Mossad and the Shabak. Um, <clears throat> the Special Forces uh, Unit are uh, mainly characterized by, first of all, clear designation in case of emergency or war. A high quality of human resource that is carefully selected and well, well trained. They have a superior and a quality intelligence from all the agencies. And they have ongoing process of learning during the campaign. They, is also, they have also technologic, technological age and high motivation and high uh, spirit fighting, a fighting spirit. <clears throat> As I previously As I previously uh, mentioned, the special forces can operate in two main uh, situations. The first one, in case of uh, emergency or war, the main designation of the special forces is to be ready in case of emergency or war. Therefore, they need to be ready for action at all time, 24 hours, seven days a week. The special forces can be used by a policy maker in order to achieve national goals. It's another tool in the box. The, the, the special forces cannot decide a war. They can only complement or support the main maneuver. The special forces typical mission in this uh, situation are collecting intelligence, assaulting and damaging enemy ability of C4I, attacking strategy target, and damaging supply routes, and they can be also deception effort. In the other situation, or the, the other operation situation, what we called mode which means military operation other than war. <clears throat> Activating the force as a result of a small, a same, <clears throat> of some local need. This is an opportunity for the forces to develop and to maintain their ability 
for case of emergency or war. Typical mission in this case, counterterrorism, intelligent collecting, psychological welfare, operation, <coughs> uh, operating against proliferation of weapon of uh, mass destruct destruction and humanitarian uh, op uh, operation. This is uh, our structure, general structure uh, <clears throat> in Israel. Uh, as you can see, for each branch, we have a special forces to the Air Force, to the intelligence, to the Navy, to the ground forces. They can work together uh, <clears throat> on the same mission, and they work, and they can work alone. They can work in different regional commands or uh, under, directly under the general staff. <clears throat> In each of our special forces, there is, I think, uh, four main uh, branches. Uh, first of all, the intelligence, that it's very big. Uh, the technological units that support the training school that train and maintain the units, and of course, the operating units <coughs> itself. I call this the iceberg. Usually what we see when something published in the newspaper is just what we see above the water. It's just the operating, the operates uh, uh, units. But under the water, there is the doctrine, there is the training, <clears throat> there is the command and control, the equipment and intelligent, and the last one, the important one, is the human resource. As my colleague says, 20% is above the water. 80% is under the water. And this is the special forces, actually. It's not just the soldier. It's the headquarters that support the units. These uh, headquarters make those units so unique, so special. <clears throat> I will show you, uh, demonstrate the support. You can see the command and the control uh, it without voice, but you can see how he uh, controlled the mission from the UAVs, how the forces under, under the ground, uh, <clears throat> on the ground, uh, change mission from one building to another building by good commanding and control and good intelligence. And this is a mounted uh, rape that, oh, excuse me. <laughs> As you can see, these two guys, we want to, to catch those two terrorists. We noticed that this side is full of houses and we want them to uh, run away to the east side 
to the west side. So the first force came a few seconds before the second force now has the snipers and he shoot one of the guys and now he is crawling. The other one is sitting in the field. Later on we shall uh, manage or we shall handle with, with him. Now the headquarters try to locate uh, the right, uh, uh, the correct uh, place that uh, this terrorist is uh, running away. You can see one of our forces, this is a uh, reinforces, and now is looking for a shelter and uh, the <coughs> The commander that sit in the headquarter give these houses to the uh, another forces, and is come and block this this house that uh, the terrorists supposed to be there. Uh, <clears throat> we usually uh, call to the people to go out from the houses before we get in. And we sent a dog. We used the dogs uh, <clears throat> uh, before we sent soldiers. As you see, the terrorist is getting out. They catch the terrorist, and now they will send the dog. Here, the dog is inside the house. He will clean the house for my D's, ammunition, and whatever. And now, a soldier will get inside to uh, search for other things in the house. Uh, as you see, it needs a lot, a lot of uh, command, command and control, learning during the mission. Now, you see the hot spot here, they going to check it. This is the second guy that we look for, and they uh, catch the guy and took him. Uh, <clears throat> and before they leave the area, they will blow this uh, house. Uh, <clears throat> So this is the iceberg, and if I have four, four minutes more, um, I will uh, show you another movie uh, about uh, infantry rape. It's uh, in an urban area. We have just two seconds to close a house in a very density area. Uh, we try to, to uh, catch this guy uh, several times and the, all the time uh, run. He has an observer on the roof and he said uh, to him that the army is coming. Uh, so we decided that the speed, the, 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 the speed is the main, uh, the main thing. And we uh, start to plan uh, to get to the area under cover and then to uh, take out uh, the soldier from the car and run to the house in less than two minutes. This is the infantry rape that you can see. Mm -hmm. This is the planning two cars from two, two different ways as a backup. And this is the soldier after uh, they taking out from the cars 
and they start one. Uh, as you see, it's very crowded uh, or very density uh, area. Uh, <coughs> you cannot pass with the car. Um, <coughs> now they find the house, and the intelligence said that he's still in the house. Uh, and now they will look for the doors and break the doors with a bridge. <clears throat> this uh, this uh, force uh, has also a UAVs in the uh, command and control. You will see the picture from the UAVs in a second. <clears throat> As you see, this, uh, this breaking is supposed to uh, just break the door without damage to the people inside. Now, he start uh, to blow the door. This is the UAV's pictures. And this is a picture from the ground. This is the guy here sitting here. This is the guy that we are looking for. We have a picture of the guy. And they catch the guy and they investigate him in uh, the area, asking questions about uh, weapons and other uh, terrorists. Here, this is a weapons, as you see. And this guy know how to speak with him, and he start to speak with him and to investigate the, uh, the guy. We have just a few seconds to leave the area. As you see, it's very uh, small unit. And uh, <clears throat> after they finish the first uh, investigation, they will take him and uh, take out from another route uh, because uh, we uh, think that uh, they will put the uh, IDs in the way that we can. So this is uh, one, uh, two ways that we are working in. Anyway, I would like to say thank you very much for listening and uh, I uh, will hope that we all cooperate in the future as a big special forces against the uh, world uh, terror. Thank you very much. Thank you, General. May I request Colonel Philip Landyshev to please come and make his presentation. Thank you.
just to okay where is the pause oh, anyway General, ladies, gentlemen, uh, good morning. I, I am uh, Colonel Landischeff from the, the French SOCOM. And uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for my very bad accent. But as, as you can hear, I'm not a, a native speaker. So I will, I will do my, my best. Uh, I would like to warmly uh, thank uh, Indian Defense Forces and St. Joe's to allow me to express what is the French point of view uh, for the future of the Special Forces. And uh, before uh, going to the future, I, I would like to take the opportunity to, to present to you the, the, what are the French Special Forces. Uh, we have built uh, an orig original model. And uh, uh, to, to start, I would like to show you a, a small movie uh, uh, sum, uh, summing uh, what we are. So, uh, as you were able to see on, on this small movie, uh, uh, we are uh, a joint uh, uh, system. Uh, it's a young structure uh, which has been uh, created in uh, 1992 uh, uh, after the first uh, war in Iraq for the, the French. Uh, of course, the special forces are not born in 92. Uh, uh, we were related uh, to the Second World War uh, in close coordination with the SIS. Uh, we were embedded in their team. We were uh, uh, teached by the SIS in the in the 40s, and then uh, we, into, we took into account uh, the example of the U.S., especially uh, during Eagle Claw uh, uh, mission uh, in uh, Tehran. Uh, and uh, after this uh, mission, uh, U.S. decided to create uh, U.S. SOCOM in uh, 1987. We had uh, our own uh, lessons learned. Uh, after the, 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 this war in Iraq, we, uh, we, we uh, have uh, uh, remarked that uh, we had a lack of uh, coordination uh, of C2 structure to uh, employ at the best level all the special forces provided by all the service. Uh, so we decided to create the COS, 
commandement des opérations spéciales, the, the French SOCOM, as well, we, that, uh, as well uh, we create also the military intel directorate to uh, concentrate all the, the, the elements on the same place. This is maybe the, the most impro important uh, slide of uh, this, uh, this briefing. Um, 